<laughs> All right, how you doing, Max? I'm good, Conan. You? <laughs> I was killing time so I could take a sip of tea. Yeah. No, I, uh, I'm doing great. I'm doing I'm great. Here. And I do care how you're doing. Um, Thank you. Okay, then. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of people are asking me about the writer's strike. Uh, as you probably heard, the writer's strike, it's finally over. Yeah. And uh, it's a good thing. Uh, and um, so all our, uh, all our writers uh, came back to work yesterday. But this whole thing has been very complicated. Uh, everyone knows the writers got a new contract. But a lot of people are asking me, what did the writers get that they didn't have before the strike? You try and find, and, and people just are confused. So I thought I'd simplify everything. I thought I'd try to illustrate exactly what the writers got. Uh, here is how our writers were treated before the strike. Hey, boss. Ah! Oh! Yeah. But, 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 thanks to their new contract, here's how they're treated now. Hey, boss. Ah! Decaf. <laughs> You're not up late? No heart palpitations? It's a more humane way to go. All right, well, of course, uh, the big story, Valentine's Day today. And, uh, you know, this is nice. A lot of people spend Valentine's Day <clears throat> they spend it together. They're celebrating their relationship. It's, it's a nice day for married people. It's a nice day for people that are, you know, have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Here's the problem. If you're single, it's a kind of a rough day, you know, if you don't have a special someone in your life. And uh, it can be depressing Valentine's Day. Well, folks, that's where I come in. <laughs> that's right. I thought I have a talk show a powerful show that's seen by hundreds of millions of people across China and the world. <laughs> what? Just pretend. Uh, what if I use my incredible power as a TV host to take two single people on this sacred day of love and bring them together? Wouldn't that be a nice thing to do? Yeah, that's what I thought too. Yeah, so. <clears throat> true story, this is an honest to God true story. A couple of hours ago, uh, I was in the office and I was talking to someone on our production staff who's single, Grace Para. And, uh, well, Grace, why don't you come on in here right now? She's outside. This is Grace Para, everybody. Give her a hand. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Man, look at that smile. All right. <laughs> don't get crazy, Grace. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, uh, she's, she's just a lovely person, and I was talking to Grace, and, and, and Grace, you said to me that, that you're single, there's yeah. no guy in your life right now, and that Valentine's Day can be uh, a little rough. Is that true? A little rough, a little heavy on the heart. Yeah, but... yeah. And that's when I thought, um, you know, uh, I should do something. So, this is what I did. Uh, before the show, I sent some of our producers out to talk to people in the crowd, and we found a guy and I swear to God, we just did this like 25 minutes ago. We found a guy that I think we could fix you up with. Now, Grace, would you be willing to go on a date with this guy? Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Not very choosy. <laughs> Grace is like, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, okay. We talked to someone whose name is Danny Young. Danny, are you here? Which one are you? Dan There's Danny right there. I All right. Let me go up here. Grace, come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. All right. Uh, you here, guys? You here, Danny? Now, uh, I don't know much about you. You are, how old are you? 23. 23 years old, and where are you from? Camarillo, California, or Ventura, Los Angeles. Okay, that's way too much information. <laughs> just, where specifically? What's the zip code? And describe your home. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, and, and what do you do for a living? I'm an insurance agent. Insurance agent. Is that exciting? Is it fun? Uh, it's a little competitive, but a little exciting. It's you like exciting. it too. What do you think? Insurance agent? Is that cool? Cool. Okay, now what's your initial reaction to <laughs> Grace again? is like, I don't care. He's wearing pants. <laughs> Man, uh, Grace, uh, what do you yes. think? He seems like a nice guy. I am actually 23 myself. Okay. Yeah. 
now, uh, now, Grace, uh, and, and, and I, I'm, I, it's weird for me to say this. I'm in the middle, but I'm sensing a sexual attraction. <laughs> it uh... might be me and you. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, no. uh, you sure? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Uh, well, I think. It would be uh, a cool idea to have you guys go on a date. Would you like to do, Let's that? do that? Would you like to do, do it? it? Okay, now here's the thing. <clears throat> Most shows at this point would send you to a five-star restaurant, like some crazy place like Per Se, and they'd give you a couple thousand dollars, have an amazing meal, and uh, a white limo, and all that kind of stuff. Eh, we don't have that kind of money here, okay? <laughs> Show's on very late. <laughs> and I get most of the dough. So, <laughs> it's true. Uh, we thought... We thought, what if we set up a romantic dinner for you, the two of you, in our hallway right now? Can we see that right now? <laughs> there it is. You up for this? You up for it? Hold your hand. You up for it? Okay. All right, let's go. Come on. <laughs> this way. Now, Danny, uh, the first thing we got to do is put this microphone on you. Yes. Okay, let's put a microphone on Danny. That's the start of any romantic date. Strap a microphone on the guy. Here we go, right this way. Come with me. There we go. And, uh, yes, uh, please, sir, could you uh, uh, dinner as uh, table for two? Well, there might be a little bit of a wait. Aha, yes. <laughs> oh, uh, right this way, Mr. Leno. <laughs> well, sit for you here. Right here for the lovely lady. Oh, oh, nice. Very oh. nicely done. And then you here. Thank you, sir. And then I'll get yours. Very good, all right. Isn't this nice? We have some nice food for you. I don't know what you eat. Uh, this is the best airline food we could find. That's some kind of steak and that's some kind of chickeny thing. I don't know what the hell's going on, okay? Uh, maybe you could give the lady some. Nice! That was smooth. Interesting. <laughs> Honey, <laughs> well, you're touching him already. <laughs> All right, settle down, okay. Uh, chocolate, H how about a little wine? Wine, would you like some <laughs> wine right here? Uh, here we go, a little for you. Here we go, it's nice. Uh... Boy, boy, boy. It works, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're all set. How about a little romantic music? Would you like romantic music? Yeah. Yeah. Romantic, ah. How about a little romantic music, Scott? I hate to be, uh, uh, that's nice. We are on a TV show. Some romantic direction, maybe. Some romantic shots. Grace, looking beautiful. <laughs> nice. And me in the middle. rush anything, but if the date goes well, I took the liberty of providing you with a bed right here. <laughs> it's a vibrating bed. Can we turn on the vibrating bed, please? <laughs> now, <clears throat> vibrating beds are hard to get, so we had to kind of, well, get the next best thing. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, it's, that's fine. No. <laughs> He's... He won't throw you off your concentration, will he? Okay. Okay, go. No, he won't. He won't. And then I thought something really special. What could be more romantic than having a major celebrity sing a special song? My funny oh! Valentine, yeah! my comic Valentine, you make me smile with my heart. Your looks are laughable, unphotographable. You are my favorite. Welcome on. Oh, 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 oh,